Round about one or two weeks ago, I reviewed the Apple iPod Touch first generation on this channel. And as a fan of chronology and as an autistic person, I'm surprisingly creating a video about the iPod Touch second generation today. You might not have expected that, but the second gen iPod is the successor of the first one. With keeping that in mind, it would be comprehensible if the new device would be a huge upgrade which brings you many new advantages. And to be honest, it is somehow. When it was invented back in 2008, it came with a new sleeker and thinner design and some very interesting features you won't believe Apple built into their new touch music player model without this video proof. The first one of those new features were the volume buttons. Apple indeed realized that it would be convenient if iPod users could control the volume without unlocking the device or using the laggy music shortcut. And in times where presumably 90% of the iPod owners downloaded their music in rancid quality on YouTube or other sites, it was definitely a very hearing friendly method of regulating the volume. And maybe as important as the first feature must have been the new built in speaker. It's very nice that Apple theoretically gave you the opportunity to listen to music music without using headphones. But on the other hand and without exaggerating, I would prefer to listen to an overweight and diarrhea diseased elder farting into a 50 year old walkie talkie for an hour straight than playing one song on that speaker. To sum it up, the sound quality was terrible. But there were way more new features. Now with the iPod Touch second generation you can shake to shuffle and use Nike plus iPod. Hey come on, that, that are cool features. That is. It's very innovative, alright? Okay, maybe not. While coming with a whole new outside, the assumed progressive and revolutionary developments of the inside specs, on the other hand, got a little, little, little neglected. But only a little. Like the memory, for example. You got the same variance in comparison to its predecessor. And that means you had to choose out of the always full 8GB variant, the 16GB mid-class variant, which was almost filled after some month, or the kidney trade in 32GB one again. But at least they made them a little cheaper. Above that, you've got the same display, which admittedly was good back then. You've got the same amount of RAM, which was nearly nothing. And to shorten it up, mostly the same specs. Okay, at least you've got an improved battery time and it fitted better in your pocket, so you lost it even faster, what seems to be a disadvantage. But while I'm exaggerating and telling my jokes about the iPod Touch 2G, I have to admit that it was a very cool device anyway. While it came with OS version 2 and so got an App Store support, you finally had some pleasure and entertainment in your life. Well, at least till iOS 4 was released. Surprisingly, the second gen iPod Touch users got access to the update and so the fun began. Even though the iPhone 3G users suffered way more, the pleasure and enjoyment were blown away. The iPod Touch second generation became a slow and at some point unusable heap of metal and glass and people were motivated to switch to a newer generation or be pissed and buy a normal music player for one tenth of the price. However, in comparison, I like every classic iPod generation a lot more than the second. And because the third generation looked exactly the same but came with many upgrades inside, it would have been clever to skip the 2G. Okay, might have been a little hard to anticipate that in 2008. In 2020, it is a very cheap MP3 player. It's very slim so it fits in your pockets, it still has a very good battery time, it has a headphone jack, and if you just need a device to listen to music, the iPod Touch second generation could be a good deal, even though if I think, the third generation is a better one. If you want to learn more about old iPods and other old iDevices, you can check out this playlist right here. And if you liked the video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Up. Have a nice day guys and see you next time. Adios amigos.